Many of you know that one of my favorite Bible companies is Schuyler Bibles, and you can probably tell looking at this here that you are looking at a Schuyler Bible because of the iconic emblem of the Jerusalem cross. That is the logo that they use for their Bibles. In recent years, their Bibles have come in these clamshell boxes with this uh, really nice design. It tells what the Bible is on the side of the box. And that clamshell design is really convenient because you can easily open the box, take the Bible out, put the Bible in for storage. It does come with this guarantee. So you're always going to get top quality with Skylar, and that is seen even in the packaging. But ultimately, it is about the quality of the Bible itself. And the Quintel is uh, kind of their main Bible, their main edition that they sell. This is a regular size Quintel. You saw on the cover there that it is a Christian standard Bible. I was so excited to get this particular translation because it is one of my favorite translations of the Bible. It's a nice mediating translation, still pretty literal, but also uh, very smoothed out in English, clear to understand in English, which I think is a great balance. It is in the British tan goatskin cover, and I have to say this particular color to me is just really beautiful. I'm not sure technically what makes British tan British tan. Obviously, it's a certain tone of tan. Uh, to me, though, this just looks absolutely fantastic. Love the design on the cover there. They do a great job with the stamping. It is perimeter stitched. You can see the spine hubs there and the stamping on the side. All looks just really beautiful. And the color scheme on this, I absolutely love it with that British tan and then these nice, pretty dark brown ribbons here, double-sided satin, angle cut. You also see the gold gilt pages, and that is red under gold. You can see it's pretty uh, dark red underneath that gold there has a nice hue to it, and then has a gold gilt line framing the text. The liner is a brown liner. It does tell that it's a goatskin leather cover. It is edge lined. You can see that there. And I was reminded recently, not, a, not everybody knows this, but when you see edge line, often you will see a page that is partially glued and you do not want to tear those pages apart. There's nothing wrong with that. That's actually just how the text block and the cover are attached together. And that adds reinforcement there with that edge lining construction. Also, the Quintels now have these really nice presentation pages, very ornate, that not only have a presentation page, but also some family records pages. Nice thick cardstock. And what jumps out at me is just how bright everything is. It's a really bright page and just really stark printing here. So it just has a really bold but also beautiful ornate look to it. Here's the title page. I've got a fly attacking me, so forgive me for a fly interfering with this video. It wants to be famous. It wants to be on camera here. <laughs> So here's the publisher title page. Copyright page. And this is the 2020 text edition, so it's the most updated text of the CSB. It has an introduction to the Christian Standard Bible. The abbreviations, and then the Old Testament title page. You see the beautiful look of the format and the uh, printing in this is really nice and bold. I feel like the, the Skylers, definitely the Skylers have gotten darker printing 
over the years, and we'll see that. I'll compare it to an earlier Schuyler Quintel. You can see it's paragraph format. Really easy to pick out the verse numbers. It's that nice 11-point font. Poetry is in poetic setting. You do have those nice red highlights that are characteristic of Schuyler Quintels. So the format of the Quintel is just absolutely wonderful, very easy to read, very useful. A lot of people really rave about this, and you can see why. It's just very, very nice. I think you can definitely use this in multiple settings. It's uh, pretty easy to hold, actually, if you want to carry it. Um, but nice large font. If you wanted to use it for teaching, it's great. Reading through the Bible, it's great for that. Just giving you a look at the different sections here. This, I believe, is a 28 GSM paper that they use now. But as you can see, even in the poetic setting, the ghosting is not really distracting. Nicely line matched. So they've really set a trend. I, I think you'll see a lot of other Bible publish publishers are actually in, in some ways mimicking what Schuyler has produced uh, because they have come up with such a good format. And after the Old Testament, we have the New Testament title page, Book of Matthew. And I like how the CSB does Old Testament quotes in the New Testament. You see they actually put them in bolder font. So you can really pick out easily when the New Testament is quoting the Old Testament. It does have, in the Quintel, lots of cross-references on the very bottom of the page. And then on the bottom outside corner, you have the translator notes. So I know I'm probably showing a lot of you things that you've already seen in other Quintels, but if you're new to this kind of a Bible, I wanted to allow you to see what it looks like. At the end of this, there is a table of weights and measures. And then you have the concordance to the Christian Standard Bible. Still in a pretty small font compared to the, uh, the font of the, the biblical text. And then after your concordance, you have your map section. The beautiful Schuyler maps on this cardstock or very thick Bible paper, not glossy. There's an index to the map section. some cardstock pages, and then the end sheet and liner. So absolutely gorgeous color scheme. So I'm going to show this in comparison to an older Quintel. This is a New King James Version, uh, one of the earlier printings of the New King James Quintel with 36 GSM paper. So it is a heftier paper in this Bible, but it is also a heftier Bible. You can see the New King James is a thicker Bible. So a lot of people now that 36 GSM is not used as much on Quintels, uh, they really kind of look back with fondness on these older ones, and uh, they're pretty desirable because they're not as easy to get. But I have to say, when you actually, um, when you feel the pages themselves, uh, I'm pretty amazed at how similar the the pages themselves actually feel. Both of them feel like they have kind of a coating on them. You do see, a, though, a difference in color. The older one here has a little bit creamier tone to the paper. This is a white, brighter look. Um, but this is also just overall a lighter Bible because of the paper that they use now. So most people, I think, in many ways do see the benefit of having that lighter, easier to carry, easier to hold Bible. But still, there's a fondness and, uh, for some people, a preference for the thicker paper. As far as ghosting, though, really both papers do a great job. I mean, you're, you're looking at really premium materials here in Schuyler Bibles. So even with this lighter paper, the ghosting is not bad. The boxes have also changed over time. Originally, the Quintels had a very plain box 
with kind of a linen texture to it and a sticker on the side. Now you have a really nicely printed box. So, I mean, obviously, uh, there are going to be people who kind of miss the old days, but I think in general you could say the, bro the boxes have actually improved in quality. And there are other differences that I see in these Bibles. The ribbons, for example, in the older one are not angle cut. The new ones are. The front of the older Bible here just has this for a presentation page and no family records pages. But there are things that have really maintained the standard Schuyler look to them, the Jerusalem cross on the cover. There have been Bibles they printed without that, but by and large, I think you will see them with the Jerusalem cross on the cover, and then the spine with the raised hubs and the Schuyler logo on the bottom. So that is a look at uh, one of the newest printings of the Schuyler Quintel in the Christian Standard Bible translation. I highly recommend that. And of course, I highly recommend Schuyler Quintel Bibles if you want something that is very well made, very beautiful, but also going to last you a very long time. If you have any comments or questions about this Bible, feel free to leave those in the comments section. But thank you so much for taking a look at this Bible with me from a fresh perspective.